Hello viewers, we'll be going over natural gas. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're down 11 basis points on the one hour chart. We have natural gas starting to approach to positive MACD on the one hour MACD. And as for the four hour chart, we are starting to see a slight convergence. And at the moment, we're still in negative territory for the 4 hour MACD. However, if we stand out further onto the daily chart, we start to see a best case scenario for natural gas is sideways price action. Because at the moment, since we had a new contract that started back in May 26, we had a chance of making higher lows, but it seems that the best scenario for natural gas now is sideways price action. If we do manage to break this lows of say $1.69, we do see a possibility that natural gas will continue to slope downward and have more downward pressure. As seen before in previous weeks, that we have higher higher lows. And however, if we once we broke down lower, we lost or we made a reversal in the uptrend for natural gas. So the best case scenario for natural gas now is sideways price action to hit this lows and bounce right off it. And the next possible resistance is where we made back in May 27th at around a price of $1.94. So that will be our resistance in the next coming days. So if we do manage to climb higher, that price movement to the upside is roughly around 8.4% and to hit previous support levels, that price movement to the downside is roughly around 4.9%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day probability for natural gas. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 36% chance for natural gas to climb higher between 0 to 6 or I wish to say 7%, 0 to 7%. And on the extreme case, we have a 9% chance for natural gas to climb higher between 7% to 13.6%. And to the downside, we have a 27% chance for natural gas to fall between 0 to negative 7%. And further on the extreme case, to the downside, we have a 27% chance for natural gas to fall between negative 7% to negative 13.6%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So we have one day out, that will be a Tuesday, and two days out will be a Wednesday, and so on. So we have three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus, focus on? Ideally, the model that is best matched to the current trend. We have our current trend as our blue line, and overlapping it is the trend that I found to be the best match. So right here we have our current trend, and below is the trend that I found on the line graph to be the best match. And this dates back to August 11th to November 4th, 2010. So let's start comparing the both charts. So what we have here on the current trend, we average below the middle Bollinger Band. And then we see sideways price action touching the upper Bollinger Bands and dipping below the middle Bollinger Band. And then towards the very end, we average below the middle Bollinger Band. And now the trend in question, we start to see a similar pattern here as well. We average below the middle Bollinger Band, see sideways price action, attempt at touching the upper band, and dipping lower below the middle Bollinger Band. And then towards the very end, we average below the middle Bollinger Band. So what we have here is one, two, three points. And we also have one, two, three points on the current trend. And there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are somewhat the same. We can see that the results would be fairly the same as well. And the trend that we just examined was, again, August 11th to November 4th, 2010. Back then, natural gas was down roughly around 1% or 99 basis points. And if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model that coincides with this standard deviation of 27% chance between 0 to negative 7% in the next coming days. And let's examine closer on the technical performance on both trends. So on the current trend that we're in, we're currently down 34% from monthly high, up 54% from monthly low, down 24 
or 2.4 or 2.24 percent from 10 simple moving average down 4.5 percent from 20 simple moving average and down 12 percent from 50 day simple moving average and now the trend that we just examined again it was august 11th to november 4th 2010 back then it was also down 30 percent from monthly high up say five percent from monthly low up 1.3 percent from 10 simple moving average and down 33 basis points from 20 simple moving average and down 8% from 50 day simple moving average. So there are technical differences among two trends, especially on the 10 simple moving average. Compare that on our current trend, we're down 2% 2 and in the trend in the past, back then it was up 1.3%. So do keep that in mind. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.